enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as the Squally. his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in it. Dear Mama Mia, remember how I'm going to you two weeks ago that I went to the beach with my class and a girl, Shirley? She was such a nice girl. I'm going to remember, funny thing happened before I'm going to took her out. I'm going to call her up, and I'm going to tell her I'm going to come on a ride over, and Shirley's going to say, wait a half hour. I say, why so long? And she's going to say, i got to put on my face. <laughs> I'm going to say, your face, where are you keeping it? <laughs> she's going to tell me, don't be silly, Luigi, I'm going to make it up. It's a funny thing with this girl, the Mamma Mia. I'm going to never have a fight with her and already she's a making up. <laughs> then I'm going to find out this makeup is American expression. It means things that a girl is put on to look beautiful. They got to dye for the hair, polish for the nails, rouge for the cheeks, powder for the face, and a lipstick for the lips. Mamma mia, I'm going to think even if a little monkey is put on all this, he's a look beautiful too. <laughs> I'm thinking today how I'm like to go out with Shirley again. Ah, but uh, what's the use to think? I'm not got the nerve to call her. Well, it's a time for my night school class anyway, so I'm going to write to you later again. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Please. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Howard? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Stop, I give up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. Don't answer until I call your name. Yeah. Now, our lesson for today is geography, taking up the physical aspects of the earth, including various climatic zones. But when and... are you going to call my name? <laughs> well, all right. Mr. Schultz? No, I wouldn't answer. I'm temperamental. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, what makes you so exuberant today? Well, the government just sent me $40. Oh, a tax refund? Who knows? When they give, I pay. <laughs> Class, please. Now, Mr. Horowitz, yeah. our first geography question is, what do we call the imaginary belt that runs around the center of the earth? I don't know. Mr. Basco? I don't know. Mr. Olson? I don't know. Mr. Schultz? Don't ask me. I'm no squealer. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're not helping one bit. Now think, class. Think of a great big mass. Now what name do we give to the thing that goes around the middle? I know, Deja. Well, good for you, Mr. Schultz. What is it? A girdle. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the equator. Believe me, the way the world is falling apart today could use our goitle. <laughs> now, class, I just told you what it is. Now, the name of this imaginary line that goes around the earth is called Mr. Basco. Oh, is it called a Mr. Basco? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Basco. All during the class, you've been staring out the window. What have you been thinking of? A girl. I bet you Luigi is in love with the teacher. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Hoo-hoo! Luigi loves me for me! Luigi loves me for me! Luigi loves me for me! Oh, class, please, please, stop at this minute. I'm a spoiling. I'm a sorry. I'm a sorry. I'm a making you nervous. I am not nervous. Now, uh, back to our lesson. The equator is a girdle, and it's called Mr. Basco. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Basco is bounded by... 
Saved by the bell. Class dismissed. And Mr. Schultz, you may remain here with me. No, I'm too old. Give Luigi a chance. <laughs> Good night. Oh, good night. Heaven, what a class. Well, let me look at myself. Mm, this new lipstick does do something for me. Oh, Louis, Luigi, wait for me. Oh, listen to me. I'm breathing like an old accordion, but got one squeeze left in the box. <laughs> Luigi, I gotta apologize for the way I was acting in class. I was acting a foolish and myself, because And instead of thinking about the geography, my mind was on little birds are flying around together. The squirrels all are playing with each other, and the boys and the girls are holding a hand. Oh, Luigi, you're silly. <laughs> Schultz, don't this so nice the summer weather mean a nut in it to you? Sure, that's when I defrost my eyes bars. <laughs> so, what, what, what's the matter with you today, Luigi? You're acting so silly. Well, Schultz, I remember two weeks ago how you got me a date with a girl, Shirley Smith. Yeah. I was thinking I would like to go out with her again, but I'm not got the nerve. Ah, Luigi, don't be such a stupid cop. I just follow the American way. You go to the phone booth. You call her up. You say, Shirley, how's about going out tonight? She says, okay. You hang up. Then you stick your finger into the slot and see if your nickel comes back. <laughs> sure, Do you think if I'm a call her up, she's going to go? Sure. This is not night you're taking her to the movies. But I should, sir. I'm going to never take a girl to the movies. Luigi. That's the same thing like going by yourself, only when you go with a girl, you don't look at the pictures. <laughs> but if I'm gonna look at a picture, show, so how am I gonna enjoy myself? Stop, Luigi. <laughs> You're getting me all for shimmer. <laughs> no, please, please, stop being such a pessimist. Take the girl to the movie. All right, show, so here you give me courage. I'm gonna call her up. Go, go. And stop looking so worried. Be like me, Luigi. Be happy. Smile. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. <laughs> Luigi, my friend, I like the way you say that. <laughs> you know, Pascal, is a nice day today, huh? I'm a feeling good. Hey, what are you so happy about? You fell down on your head, maybe? <laughs> Somebody's to die and leave you fifty dollars? No, Pascal, is it better than that? This is Saturday. I'm gonna get a date too with a girl. Oh, oh, Luigi, I've been so glad to hear that. You finally gonna go out with my daughter Rosa? Eh? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go out with a girl. <laughs> Why do you take my daughter Rosa? Don't answer that. <laughs> Luigi, why you no go out with Rosa? She's a too fat. Fat, the fat, the fat. Every time we talk about a Rosa, that's all you're going to say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you want to go out with a girl that's skinny like a toothpick? You go out with a Rosa, you got a nice armor full. I'm going to go out with a Rosa, I'm going to get a room full. <laughs> Can I know you, Sir Pasquale? Saturday night, the Luigi's are going out to the movies. You going to take this girl to the movies? Ooh, that's to show how big a greenhorn you are. What's wrong with that? Everything. So you go to the movies, and what's happen? For three hours, you girls are looking at Clark Gable, you look at Ava Gardner. By the time you come out, you both hate each other. <laughs> Luigi, don't you know it's against the law taking an American girl to movies on a first date? That's a violation of Emily's post. <laughs> Emily's post, what's that? That's like the Saturday evening post, only Emily's post is to take care of the rest of the week. <laughs> Mamma mia, is there so much you to learn? Well, if I'm an old kind of go to the movies, what else am I going to do with a girl? First the day, do you got to take her dancing? But a Pasquale, you know me. I'm not going to dance. In Italy, all I'm going to dance is a tarantella. Tarantella? <laughs> oh, Luigi, you went behind the times. They got a new dances in America now. There's uh, 
Charleston, Charleston, dum da dum da dum Black bottom, that's a new twist him. And then it's another one that's just come out of a phallus with a U-shaped head. <laughs> what the dance is this? Square dance. <laughs> <laughs> but, Charlie, I'm going to know that's a late dance. If I'm going to go to a dance, I'm going to just stand around doing a nut. That's right. You what they call a wallpaper. <laughs> a wall, wall of flowers. Luigi, my Rosa, she's a just like you. She's a wallflower, too? Yes. So why two wallflowers and don't get married and have a little creeper, huh? Stop, stop. It's no use, Pasquale. The dancer for me is, is no possible. I think I'm going to take a chance to call up with this girl and ask her if she's the one to go to the move. Go call. Uh, you ain't call up yet, eh? No. Luigi, you ain't gonna call this girl yourself, I'm a hope. Why not, the Pasquale? Well, if you call yourself, a telephone company is a call that a person a person a call has to cost you twice as much. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, the girl is liable to want to go to a dance, and then you're stuck. Oh, Pasquale, what am I gonna do? What are you gonna do? What do you always do? You holler help, come to Pasquale. Luigi, I'm gonna call her up for you. Pasquale. Hey, you think if you talk to her, she's a got to movie with me instead of a dance? Sure, I've got a lot of experience with American girls. I'm a call up and say, hello, babe. How's about a paint in the town of red with Luigi? He's a good for that. He's got a head like a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make her laugh if she's going to do anything for you. <laughs> That's the sound of fine, of Pasquale. Sure, and I'll give me her name and the telephone number I'm going to call her. Here, and I thank you very much, Pasquale. He's your real friend. <laughs> sure. Go take a walk. It's a nothing I wouldn't do for you. Nothing. That's just what I'm going to do for him. Nothing. <laughs> Ah, oh, but a figure of a Hello? Uh, is this the Shirley Smith? Uh, Mrs. Smith, uh, my friend Luigi Basco is asking me to call you and tell you he's no care to take you to the movies. Well, you see the pictures in a technicolor and uh, he's a colorblind. <laughs> sure. If he's a go to see that picture, yellow sky, to him it's a Kamala Red River. <laughs> but don't worry, Shirley. Luigi's got a better idea than the movies. You like it? Dance? <laughs> That's fine. Luigi's crazy to dance. He's in like to meet you Saturday night in front of the Aragon Ballroom. You like, huh? <laughs> Can he really dance? His whole family is a dancer, sure. <laughs> Ever hear of Gina Kelly? <laughs> That's Luigi's sister. <laughs> Luigi continues in just a moment, but first, romance from two points of view, from a teenager's and from a pretty schoolmarm. Romance with many a laugh fills a full hour just a little later on most of these CBS stations. First, you'll meet Corliss Archer, the teenager with the world's most vivid imagination and a genius at jumping to the wrong conclusion. Later, you will have a date with our Miss Brooks, the school teacher who adds an R for romance to the other three R's of education. Eve Arden stars as our Miss Brooks. So be sure to meet Miss Brooks and Corliss Archer later tonight on CBS. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. Oh, Mamma Mia, tonight is a finally come the big night. Pasquale is a tell me he's a fix everything up and I'm going to take Shirley to the movies. Mamma Mia, you should sure see how nice I'm a dress up. I'm a look in a men's fashion magazine and a Tony's a shoe shine parlor. And it's to say that a men's clothes should always match. Well, I'm wearing a purple shirt and an orange tie. All of those socks are too much. One sock is a purple, the other is an orange. <laughs> also, I'm a one to smell a good, but there was no after shaving a lotion in the medicine chest. So I'm a make my own lotion. I'm a take some cloves, some rubbing alcohol, some oil in the green, glycerin and rose water, 
Boil it just to make it for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to pour the whole thing on myself. <laughs> Mamma me, I'm going to smell it just like a drugstore. <laughs> anyway, I'm standing and looking at myself in the mirror. When in is a come shoot. Hello, Luigi. Oh, you look nice. <laughs> <laughs> What do I smell? What's the matter, Schultz? Luigi, was you burning rubber tires? In? <laughs> Open up the windows, let some fresh air in. Oh, oh that's better. Well, Luigi, I was just talking to Shirley's mama. And she tells me the girl is all excited about going dancing with you tonight. Yeah, I'm all excited. Huh? A dance singer? But if Pasquale is a call of Shelley and a teller, I'm taking it to the movies. Pasquale? Oh, Luigi, you are such a dumb cop. Don't you know Pasquale is out to mix you up with any other girl? But why? Why, he asked Rosa. Why should Pasquale help you with a molehill when he can't get rid of his mouth? <laughs> uh, Schultz. Schultz is a look like my big day is a fall apart. I'm a note kind of dance. Ah, Luigi, smile. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to dancing. It's the same thing like wrestling, only it's not fixed. <laughs> no, 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 come here. Come here, close to me. Come here, I'm going to show you how. Yeah. All right, sure. No, 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 first, first you take the girl. You hold her close to you like this. Oh, sure, sir, please. <laughs> See, you squeeze it too hard. But that's how you hold a girl. So tight? Sure, what do you think there is to dancing? Just dancing? <laughs> sure, so you're just wasting your time with me. No, wait, 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 Luigi. I just got this idea. Why don't you take a professional dancing lesson? Huh? Sure, they learn you quick. Why don't you go dance with Arthur Murray? Arthur Murray? Oh, no, thanks, Tom. I'm not dancing with a man. <laughs> what am I going to do with you, Luigi? Arthur Murray is a dancing school. Here, let me look in the paper. Yeah, I'm going to find it. Here, 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 here. Yeah, I got it. You see? Murray's Dance Studio. With the magic step, you can learn to dance in one lesson. Sure, so you think they teach you me? Well, sure, listen to this. With our beautiful young teachers holding you in their arms, gliding you across the floor, you can learn. <laughs> Luigi, I just got another idea. What the sure, sir? You stay here, I'll go. <laughs> No, no, Schultz. You convince me. I'm going to go to the dance studio right now. Well, Mr. Vasco, that's a simple one, two, three step. So much for theory. Now, shall we put it into practice? Yeah, but... Uh, Fine, now you put your arm around me. Put your arm around me. Please, uh, maybe you got some more theory? <laughs> Mr. Vasco, if you expect to do any dancing tonight, you better start now. Well, uh, all right. Put your arm around me. Like this? No, no, not both arms, just one. Which one? The right one. <laughs> put it around me. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm wondering where I should have put it. <laughs> right here. Now, take my other hand. You come closer. Like a thing? Closer. Huh? Closer. Mama Mia, if I'm going to come any closer, I'm going to be behind you. <laughs> now, now, I'll turn on the music. Now, Mr. Vasco, do as I taught you. Lead me. Mr. Burton, I, I'm not going to move. Don't you remember what I told you? I'm going to remember, but I don't think of my feet was a listener. <laughs> it's just beginner's fright. Just move your legs. Hey, that's it. Fine. Hey. Hey, look at me. I'm a dancer. I don't need my own feet. <laughs> Now remember, while we're dancing, keep counting. One, two, three. I'm going to remember. 
<laughs> Mr. Bastor, are you counting? Yep, I'm up to 96. <laughs> no, no, no. Just repeat the steps. One, two, three. Well, why are you letting go of my hand? And I got a signal for a turn. <laughs> We're not driving a car. Now, hold on to me. And turn around. That's the way. Now we dip. Back, back, back. Ah, I guess I'm a dip too far back. <laughs> Mr. Bastard, this is no use. I'm never going to learn to, da- and to dance in a time of foot tonight. Oh, not Mr. Basco. Your girl will be surprised at how well you dance. Now, let's just... <laughs> I think you're nice too, Shirley. By and by, I buy you ice cream a cone. Oh, da do da do. Oh, gee, if there's anything I like, it's dancing. Don't know why we're just standing here watching. Before was a waltz, so you know when to dance. Now is a fox a trap. Do you still know dancing? Oh, I'm waiting for my kind of music. <laughs> Get off for my shoulder. <laughs> Boy, Luigi, what a deadbeat you turned out to be. Excuse me, Shirley. I'm going to go to wash up a little. I'm going to be right to bed. Oh, uh, I'll be uh, Mamma mia, it's a summer place. I'm going to come here in a street to car. I think I'm going to go home in an ambulance. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Oh, hello, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, what are you doing in this dance hall? Just pass it by. Hey, what's the matter with you? Hairs all over your face, as high as they go, and the clothes all mussed up. What's to happen? You just have a fight with a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no, Pasquale, I was a dancer. With a girl. I know what the girl is. She's a jump around like Uncle Pietro's a goat after he's a back into a barbed wire fence. <laughs> oh, oh. And how she's a holler. Beat to me with a rug, send to me, tear off of some skin of Jackson. <laughs> You was a dancer with a jitterbug. This place is a full of jitterbugs. If I'm not that, I'm going to come here with DDT. That's <laughs> why it's all of your fault. You told Shirley I'm a tech head to a dance. Luigi, I didn't know it was going to turn out like this. I was only trying to help you. Hey, Pasquale, if you want to help me, hmm? then you dance with a Shirley and I'm going to go home. I got a better ride there, Luigi. How's it going to be if some other girl is to go over to Shirley and say, Pardon me, miss, are you dancing with my steady boyfriend and my finance? So how's about you leave him a go before I change the direction of your nose? <laughs> Pasquale, when am I going to get a girl who's to do that for me? Ooh, 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 you lucky pups of you. 
I've got just the girl. And she's also just happens to be passing by. I'm going to call her. Rosa! 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 You called me, Papa! <laughs> yes, my little Pavlova. Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, Luigi wants you should do him a little favor. You go over to Luigi's a girl, and you say... Hey, hey Pasquale, I... Shirley is a gun. There she is. She's a walk away with another fella. Now I'm going to go home and get into a pail of hot water and a soak of my feet. Wait, Luigi, why are you running? You have a bad time, you should have a little fun. Why are you no relax? Rosa is such a wonderful and nice dancer. She is? Sure. Roses is so good that they name a big dancer hall after her in New York. It's called a Rosaland. <laughs> Here's a dance, a waltz, a fox, a trot. A... Well, uh, maybe I'll try. Sure. Go ahead, Luigi. Dance with a Rosa. Enjoy. Luigi! Jive music! What? The... So, Mamma Mia, even though it's a nice summer day and I should have been walking in a park with the birds, for me it's a turn out the other way. I'm laying here in a bed with a bandage. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm not to have such a big accident. It's just that the while I was a dancer and a rosa is a fall on me. <laughs> Doctor says no bones are broken. It's just that I'm a suffer from a shock. I'm laying here and I'm thinking thing is over. And you know something, Mamma Mia? I think I'm like it as a jive who would a reap up and a bee hop and a shut up. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to try dancing again. Yes, Mamma Mia. Every day, in every way, I'm getting to be more like an American. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the Lelimogan. Production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Stevenson speaking. For more laughter, for thorough enjoyment, join the college crowd in Young Love on most of these same CBS stations tomorrow night. Young Love is the story of two college students, happily married, who have to keep their wedded bliss a secret because of a faculty rule against student marriages. U.S. savings bonds are safe, profitable, and easy to buy. Later on, they'll come in very handy when you'll need money for your children's education, improvements on your house and property, or just for having that nest egg for a rainy day. Buy U.S. bonds regularly. And now stay tuned for the latest teenage adventure of Corliss Archer, which follows immediately over most of these same CBS stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.